Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to record this video and I'm going to do kind of a commentary on a couple of Anderson clips that he's uploaded recently, basically about Halloween, and just give some thoughts and I want to uh, write down the scriptures that he used and kind of meditate on them and look over them more after a while. And um, anyway, so yeah, I got some coffee here and I got a cosmic brownie that I'm going to eat really quick. <laughs> just thought I'd do this just to tick. Uh, Brian Denley are off, and, um, you know, I love these Cosmic Brownies. I pretty much grew up on Star Crunches and Mountain Dew and Brownies. Not really the greatest thing, but, you know, it's probably why I got, like, four teeth removed already. But, uh, what can you say? Uh, hmm. Things are really good. Give you a little bit of energy, kind of uplift your mood a little bit love chocolate. I went for periods where I didn't even eat dessert and stuff for a while. And I remember my aunt was always like pushing dessert on me whenever she cooked and me and my mom ate with her when the family ate together and stuff. She'd always be like, you want some of this pie or whatever? And I'd be like, no. She'd be like, here, have it anyways. Make me a plate. I'd be like, I'm not going to eat that. But here I am again, eating desserts. There's nothing wrong with it, it's not a sin, okay? It might be hard to believe, but, uh, you know, there's even some potential benefits, like I said. It gives you a little energy, uh, plus your mood, so. But uh, the legalism is crazy, you know, with Brian Dillinger, and that's what this is about, and this hopefully, you know, I'll remember to title this video, is you know, exposing the legalism on Halloween and stuff. And uh, yesterday I was trying to think of the word, and I said fundamentalism. And it's not really fundamentalism, it's more legalism that's the issue here. Trying to make the Bible say things that it doesn't, and putting restrictions on people and putting people in bondage, which is the opposite of what, you know, Jesus uh, you know, accomplished, is, you know, that we have liberty in Christ. So, anyway... I'll try to get to the point, but I want to make a few videos today because I've been lacking for a while, but I've been so busy and exhausted that I haven't felt like it, or I just haven't had the time. And I'm wearing this shirt that a brother got for me from Infowars, Infowars store. I am the resistance. I really like this. I know Alex Jones has a lot of issues, and, uh, I really like David Knight a lot, the whole crew, Owen Schroyer, and Alex Jones is entertaining to me, but it's a it's a source for me to get my news. You know, I check the Drudge Report, and I subscribe to CNN and Fox, and I watch what they do, and I really don't like CNN, and I see how they try to manipulate people with their posts on YouTube, and I really don't like it, like, they'll show clips of police brutality and stuff, and I think, you know, it's kind of like they're, uh, you know, when I watch stuff like that, it makes me not like the police, and that's and I and they're kind of like manipulating people to, to get to do that. Just you know what I mean. Every there's always a you know a slant to whatever news group I get. I get that there's you know a, a bias or there's an agenda or whatever, but uh, I don't like the agenda of CNN. I really don't. And you know, not just because that's popular that CNN is fake news, but you know, seeing it myself and experiencing it. Anyways, I've watched Alex Jones for quite a while, before the before the 2016 election, but uh, that is when I became a bigger fan. I noticed that, you know, he's hired a lot bigger crew, and, um, you know, that's when he was pretty big. But I knew about him previously, and I used to watch uh, Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura, because I'm a wrestling fan, too, so I was interested in that because of Jesse Ventura. But... Um, Anyways, I really appreciate this shirt. It's really cool. I like it. And it really upsets me that whether you like Alex Jones or not, all this censorship online with Twitter and everything, and everybody, you know, removing Alex Jones from their platform, like, on the same day, and more and more stuff's being removed and censored all the time. And it's just ridiculous. And this world's just gone bonkers. And it's unbelievable, really, each day. 
caring what's happening. And, you know, there are victories, though. I mean, there's things to rejoice over, absolutely. But anyway, I really like this shirt. I really like coffee. And I really like cosmic brownies. So Brian Denler can expose me as a brownie-eating Jesuit. Anyway, I'm going to play this clip and just kind of commentate on it for now. And um, maybe make note of some of the things that he says. So, let's just play the clip. Commands in the Bible about necromancy, sorcery, soothsaying, witchcraft, divination, enchantments, cutting yourself, don't have fellowship with devils. So if we... Okay. So... He says, you know, the, there's lots of places in the Bible that says it's against witchcraft and necromancy and etc. Obviously, yeah, that stuff's wicked and God hates that stuff, but just because people might want to dress up as a witch or something on Halloween or any given day doesn't mean that that person is a witch or that they support witchcraft, you know, in, in their personal life or, you know, that that's something that they really practice or... Uh, or even enjoy or whatever okay it's just it's just role-playing and you know then he says don't have fellowship with devils um, and this is all in the context of him saying that Christians shouldn't celebrate Halloween and you know another thing is okay if we're talking about costumes and stuff like that or decorations or whatever okay well what if a Christian church or whatever which you know anyway or a group family they wanted to have a Halloween Halloween celebration, and they dressed up, but they dressed up as like firemen and you know doctors or uh, you know occupations like that. Is there something wrong with that? Um, they're still technically ce celebrating Halloween. You know, they're dressing up, they're eating candy. Um, you know, what if there's pumpkins and stuff? Is there something wrong with pumpkins? So it's really kind of a gray area. But I think that even so, even if people do dress up as as a witch or whatever. It's not the same as being a practicing witch, okay? Uh, and being a practicing witch is what the Bible's against, okay? It's not up against role playing or whatever. And personally, I want to say that you know I'm not going to celebrate Halloween. I don't right now, and I, I can't say that I never would for any other reason in the future or anything. But I used to always love the holiday, and I love the fall still. Halloween doesn't really mean much to me now, except for I know that the true wickedness that goes on, the rape and the murder and the kidnapping and stuff like that, that's what bothers me. But I'm not going to dress up. I'm not going to hand out candy. I'm not going to do anything different, really, that I can think of normally that I would any other night. You know, it's just going to be a night that's going to pass by, and I don't care. I mean, I'll probably do some prayer, and I want to do some prayer tonight for it and a lot of other things that have been happening. But, you know, I personally don't celebrate anymore. It's also, you know, it is a good time, and I've said this even in the past, for evangelism. I mean, people can hand out tracts, and it's a time when people are going door to door and stuff, and you can easily give the gospel to people, you know. Um, so, and you know, it, it can be a fun time for kids to enjoy themselves. And I was thinking about it, how uh, when I was younger, my dad... Uh, made some costumes for me because he used to be really crafty and he was really good at wood making and you know he made a really awesome gazebo for somebody he used to make little wood toys and puzzles and uh but he was very artsy and i used to be too i still kind of am but i you know i enjoy art but i don't really make it a lot myself but one time he made me a batman suit because i really loved batman growing up you know the first couple of batmans the Tim Burton ones with Michael Keaton. Those are some of the best ones. But uh, he, he made it, you know, the costume out of felt and everything. And, um, you know, glue gun. And he made the gloves with, like, the spikes coming out of them. He put, like, cardboard in it. And um, 
So, you know, they were, like, solid. Like, it looked really good, and there was a lot of compliments on it, and I was very proud of it. I'm very proud of my dad for making that. And there was another time that he made me a Bartman costume, because I wanted to be Bartman, which is basically Bart Simpson's version of Batman, or a superhero, where he has, like, a mask and a cape on. And my dad made that. And uh, I don't know if he made... I don't know if he made it out of cardboard or what he made it out of, but he made, you know, a thing for me to put on my head that had the spikes, like Simpsons, like Bart's hair, and he had, like, he had, like, these big white oval things that he put on there and cut circles out of, like, the big eyes, and I wish I had pictures of it, he might still, there might be still somewhere, I'd love to show him, because it looked really great, and again, you know, I was really proud of that homemade costume, you know, uh, when a lot of kids are just buying, you know, are just wearing cheap plastic costumes or whatever that, you know, it was just fine too, but, you know, I was proud that my dad took the time and it was, like, authentic. And, uh, one year, I dressed up as a pirate, just randomly. Actually, me and two buddies did. We all three dressed up as pirates, and, uh, there was always, like, a Halloween costume contest where you walked in circle, and they had judges which would choose the best ones, and I think that we won... Like, we came in, like, second or third. And I was a little upset that I think the first place was a few kids that were dressed up as powder puff girls, and they were wearing, like, the plastic masks or whatever, and I was like, this is garbage. Because we actually had, you know, the bandana on and the eye patch, and, you know, we dressed up full pirate gear. And, you know, just because I dress as a pirate, does that mean that I support pirates? You know, people going on the ships and looting people, or does that mean that I do it myself? No. It doesn't at all. Okay, it's just dressing up to portray a character and uh, just having fun. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So, so I think when you use these verses, which I used to use them too, and I've seen them used all over the internet. So, you know, early on, when you have a zeal for God and you're taking in all this information, you're trying to learn stuff fast and... Um, you can easily be persuaded by a lot of things. And that's what I want to make people think and examine that, you know, there's a lot of other aspects to look at this. And I think it's really more of a personal conviction type thing than, you know, it's easy to make things black and white and say, just don't celebrate Halloween at all or whatever. And there's things that I'd like to do that with, like alcohol and stuff. You know, I've had alcohol and drug problems. And, you know, I would just like to say no Christian should drink at all you know, or, or anything else, you know, no painkillers, you know, even if you're in pain or whatever, just no drugs, no, no mind altering substances or whatever, even though I drink coffee, but still, uh, I'm saying, you know, but I know that would be against the Bible. And there's people that do that, that say, you know, the wine that Jesus drank or whatever, wasn't alcohol. It didn't have alcohol in it, but that's bull. So, it is okay for people to have a drink here and there if they can handle it. But the problem is that there are a lot of alcoholics in denial. And uh, you know, alcoholism is run rampant. And, but it would be wrong for me to say that, you know, it's wrong for any Christian to have a drop of alcohol. It's simply not true. So uh, even though as much as I don't like it and I prohibit it in my life, you know, for me to put those standards on other people... It's not, you know, it's not biblical. I can't back that up with the Bible. And so I think that's kind of what we got with Halloween here. It's, it's a personal conviction thing. And I can definitely see why people have issues with it. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of bright sides to it, too. And there's just a lot of gray areas. There's things we got to think about. But anyways, you know, as far as the witchcraft and the soothsaying and the necromancy, God's condemning the actual practices of that. And, um... So, I'm just going to continue. Let's just see what else he has to say. We take all these commands and look at all this stuff. You know, wouldn't it make sense that God doesn't want us out celebrating Halloween and dressing up like a goblin and dressing up like a vampire and a werewolf? You know, and that's where he says, well, what if you, what if you dress up as a, as a fireman or as a police officer? Okay. 
bitch and a sorcerer. And where, where does it say, say that in the Bible? Well, well it doesn't say that in the Bible. Exactly, it doesn't say that in the Bible. It's the Bible that says don't say Halloween. Let's try to but make if it he's sound telling like you have, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. If he's yeah. telling you, he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul, all they that hate. Okay, and so I mentioned the all they that hate me love death in a video last night. And, uh. So I'm, gonna, I'm writing these things down. All that hate me love death. And, um. He also said, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. But is that talking about celebrating Halloween? You know, it's a bit of a stretch, I think. And these are verses that, you know, can be used uh, for, I've seen them used for many things, you know. I talked about in the video last night how I looked at the uh, commentary, and I still have it up here, Proverbs eight thirty six. But have no fellowship, or no, all they that hate me love death, because all those that hate God love sin. Okay, and sin leads to death. So that's the context of that. It's not that they love to murder people, or that they enjoy people being murdered, you know, or um, that they watch horror movies or whatever else or that they celebrate Halloween, <clears throat> it's that they love sin. They love committing sin, practicing it. It's their lifestyle, and that lifestyle leads to death. So in effect, because they hate God, they love death. Okay, um, It leads to uh, spiritual death and even you know physical death. So that's the context of that. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. You know, what's that talking about? So, that's something that I, I want to go over more. Look at the commentaries and stuff and meditate on these verses. But I think, no matter what, I mean, it should be kind of obvious that it's a stretch, because people can apply that to anything. Um, you know... Just like, what if... They, what if Anderson said that, you know, America is, there's a lot wrong with America, you know. He says America the Babylon, right? So, does that mean that nobody should hang, you know, American flag in their yard or something because they would be having fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, you know, according to him? I don't know. It's, it's just like, sometimes, like, no matter what you do, people are going to trace it back to paganism or, um, you know, somehow you're supporting the devil and that's just not true that's not the context of this so let's just see what else he says me love death then you could expand that to say look i shouldn't participate in a holiday that's all about glorifying death and evil and goblins and ghouls and vampires and and whatever else okay Obviously, if we expanded that out there, we would say, look, I'm not going to go out and dress up like a sorcerer. If he doesn't want me to be a sorcerer or a witch or a necromancer or one that deals with familiar spirits, then why would I dress up like one? I probably shouldn't dress up like one and think that that's fun. If I'm not supposed to fantasize about killing people, if I'm not supposed to fantasize about committing adultery, then should I be getting out the chainsaw and the fake blood and going out? You know, and again, even if that's true, then then his sermon is about not dressing like a witch. It's not about not celebrating Halloween because, like I said, that doesn't have to be what people could dress up as, even though I don't think there's particularly a problem with that. Because just just because someone dresses up as a witch doesn't mean that they support witchcraft. You know, uh, it's just it's just a costume. They're just people just have fun, okay? <laughs> because they've seen whatever movies or whatever, and I don't know. But it's not a sin. I can tell you that. So you can forget about that. And 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 going door to door like that, it's kind of a no brainer. But that's what everybody's going to be doing on Wednesday night. When they ought to be in church. And you know, I, I want to encourage you, if you're a Sunday morning glory and you don't come to the evening services, I think you should come to church this Wednesday night. Even if you don't normally come on a Wednesday night, 
Why don't you just come this Wednesday night just to get away from all the weird stuff that's out there? Just to get away from all the little demons and demonettes that are going to come to your door looking for raisinettes, you know? And, and, and they're, they're coming to your door to get candy and they're dressed like the devil and they're dressed like witches and whatever. You know, and Anderson's all about soul winning. Why isn't he saying hand them the gospel when they come to your door? Or give them the gospel, you know, give them, hand them a track or just preach the gospel to them when they come to the door. I mean, that's a huge soul winning opportunity right there. They're coming to you. Do on Halloween? They don't necessarily dress up like a ghoul or a goblin or, or a Disney character. But you know what a lot of the adults do with the women is they get scantily clad. And you know, someone might say, why, why don't I do that myself? And uh, I live in like an apartment complex. Which I probably could, but I'm not going to bother with it. But uh, maybe if I had, you know, a different place or something of my own, maybe I would. Maybe I will in the future. But I'm just going to, like I said, I'm, my part will be praying for, you know, against all the wicked. You know, it's a spiritual warfare, and we need prayer warriors on that night. So The garb that's worn to a Halloween party... It's, it's the super, super short skirt, skirt or the short shorts or the whatever, whatever the provocative, sensual attire of a harlot. Okay, okay this, this is the kind of stuff that's going on this Wednesday night, folks. And you know it's what's going on. It's it's nothing godly. It's not a night where we all stop and meditate on John. Yeah, I do agree that, you know, it's not a night there are a lot of women that are scantily meditate. clad you know, on Halloween. They wear costumes like that or even men wear provocative outfits or whatever. You know, at the bars and the clubs and stuff like that. Uh, but again, that's you know, rebuking you know certain things that certain people do on this certain specific night. But it's you can't just condemn everything overall, and uh, just because you know the drunks in the bars wear these scantily clad outfits or whatever, that you know Christians can't enjoy it and wear you know costumes. You know, I saw. A girl coming to work the other night that was dressed as a crayon. She had a crayon costume on, which is funny, you know. Why can't you just have fun, you know? Uh, that's the problem. So people can't have fun. You know, like I said, I'm not even going to celebrate it, but, you know, I do. I dress up as the Buxley character, and it's fun, you know. It's fun to, to just dress up, and there's nothing wrong with that, so... On, and, and what does the Bible say? Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely. Okay. See, this is another verse. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are just, where you can use for anything. You can just apply this to anything. And I've seen it applied to everything. And, you know, another one that I was reading about last night was, is, uh, you know, is it edifying? And a lot of people say everything, well, is it edifying? You know, it's not sinful, but it's not edifying. And oftentimes a lot of things are edifying in different ways that people just don't realize, you know. It's edifying to have fun, okay? Sometimes we need that. You know, we shouldn't be having fun all the time where, uh, you know, entertainment just becomes a distraction in our life or whatever. We do need to be focused on our duties as Christians, but, uh, you know, it's good to have a laugh, to have time together with family and friends, um, to have a little sugar, you know, if you can handle it, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. So, I want to look at some more commentaries on the whatsoever things are true, honest, and just, etc. Um, that's just, that verse is just used and abused for everything. But I don't think that it really applies here, so. What's our things are a good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these You know, and even if I said probably again that, you know, what if they wore, you know, costumes that weren't revealing and, the, you know, they're they're not any kind of a so-called evil character or whatever, and, and it's just fun. You know, they would still say, well, it's just a pagan holiday or whatever, you shouldn't celebrate. They just can't accept it that, you know, that it could happen at all and be... Think on these things. And you know what? That, none of that describes Halloween. None of that. Okay. So if the Bible's telling us, well on, 
Clean, true, honest, honest just, just, pure, pure, pure lovely, lovely, good report, good report virtue, virtue, praise. praise. What's, he What's he telling us not to dwell on? Gore, Gore violence, violence, death, death perversion, perversion, demons, demons Satan, Satan, sorcery, <laughs> witchcraft. Isn't that, Isn't that what he's saying we don't want to dwell on and think about and we, and we shouldn't set any wicked thing before our eyes? And, and, and you say, well, the kids are going to be disappointed because the kids... I mean, people aren't really dwelling on it. You know, the people, if your person wears a witch costume, I keep going for the witch costume. I don't know. It's kind of like a classic Halloween costume, right, with the hat and everything. I mean, it's just a costume they put on, and they're just enjoying themselves with friends and having fun. They don't even put any thought into it, okay? Um, when I was wearing a Batman suit, I didn't go around trying to fight crime, pretend that I was Batman or anything, okay? It was just an homage to a movie and, uh, you know, whatever. So, it's just... <sighs> I love Halloween. Who taught them that? You know, did they learn that from you? Well, then shame on you for teaching them to love that. <laughs> I love how he just berates the Well, shame on you for congregation. sending down to the Babylon Unified School District, okay? And so the bottom line is, you, you say, well, they love it. But you know what? Our flesh loves a lot of sinful things. You know what I mean? I, I mean, look, in my flesh, there's all kinds of sinful things that I would love to do. In my flesh, that's why we need to walk in the Spirit. So, that we don't so he's basically up saying up it is okay? sinful and, to celebrate. And, and why don't you start teaching your kids? And it's really that, ironic that coming from Stephen life, Anderson, life too, when he teaches easy believism and says that, you know, a Christian can go on living like a devil and they don't have to repent of sins for salvation. And, uh, you know, but then here he is raging hard on Fine. Fine. Yeah. Instead of just teaching them, oh, you, oh, you can have your cake and eat, and eat it too. It too. You can, you can have the best, the best of both worlds. worlds. You, can you can indulge in everything, everything the world does, does. No, matter no matter how weird it is, no matter, no matter how, how bad it is, you can, you can indulge in that and still be a great Christian. Halloween's the worst thing ever. Really? Is putting on costumes. Well, why don't we choose whom we're going to serve? Are we going to serve the devil? Or are we going to serve and I'd like to go back and watch this whole sermon. You know I'm all for is. celebrating holidays that venerate the Lord. Does he even mention the true wickedness that goes on, or does he just go on and on about the petty crap about the holiday? <sighs> now, this is interesting, too, what he says. I think it's funny. You know, I'm for celebrating the birth of Christ. I'm for celebrating the resurrection of Christ. I'm for celebrating things that are true, honest, just. And you should know uh, that I'm not for the church systems. I don't go to a church building myself. But if people do and, and they're okay with it, that's fine. But, you know, it's funny that he's, he's like, well, I do support. He's basically saying that he is for Christmas and Easter. Well, of course, because those are the days when most people will go to church. And that's when he's going to get the most profit. I'm sorry, but I think that's the way that it is, and, uh, and, you know, maybe that's not his intention, maybe, you know, he really does enjoy the holiday, too, that's fine, but, of course, he's going to be for those, either way, uh, and some Christians aren't, you know, they would say that Christ Christmas and, and Easter is pagan as well, but, uh, you know, and it was funny, he was trying that Halloween happens to be on a Wednesday night, and he's like, you need to come to the Wednesday night service. Like, they'll do anything to try to get more and more people people to keep coming. Uh, but it looks like that's about the end of this video. And so there wasn't a whole lot of verses, but there's some things to go off of there that I'd like to meditate on a little deeper. Here's another one. Christians should not enjoy violence. It's a little shorter, but it's kind of the same thing, maybe from the same sermon. If I can get to it. I don't know why the computer's kind of lagging when I'm recording this. I can't believe this has went to almost 30 minutes. I'm sorry if this has bored anybody for 30 minutes. I want to do some more Psalm videos tonight. 11, right? The Lord, the Lord trieth the righteous, the righteous but, the but the wicked, and him that violence. loveth violence his soul hated. If you delight, if you delight in, in seeing gore and, 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 and dying people dying and, and being apart ripped apart and blood and, blood and, and guts and, and, death and, death and death and dead bodies, and they're, they're you know, you're then you're a sick individual. Okay. And so he says those that love violence, you know, the wicked and, and, and him that loveth violence, uh, the Lord, you know, is detested by them or whatever. Well, you know, just because somebody watches a movie, horror movie, an action movie, whatever it may be, 
and there's people being killed in it or dying in it, or if they celebrate Halloween or whatever. You know, again, the real issue, the real context of Scripture is true violence, real murder and rape, okay, and abuse. And uh, so just because somebody watches a movie where these things may take place does not mean that they enjoy them. And actually, in horror movies and stuff, usually the idea is that you're supposed to be frightened by it. You're supposed to be disgusted by it, repulsed by it, you know, scared. You're not supposed to, you know, be gleeful of it. Uh, and I get that people, some people like horror movies, and there's an entire genre, you know, there's PG horror movies and R-rated, you know, and they can get pretty bad. And maybe when I say horror, a lot of people are thinking of, like, the worst, goriest ones there are. Maybe they're thinking of Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, there's lots of different reasons why people like these movies, myself included, because, you know, they're creative, and maybe, you know, I appreciate all the aspects of the movie, you know, the acting, the cinema, cinematography, the soundtrack, and, you know, the sound effects, the, and the, the music, and um, just the colors and the props and just everything, you know. It's uh, the detail that goes into the movies. And, uh, and oftentimes it's really amazing with, uh, you know, the lower budgets, how much better they do things. And, you know, a lot of the movies that I like are the older movies. You know, and there's even black and white silent horror movies. And um, so, if I enjoy a movie where there's death and if there's murder being happening in it, whatever, does that mean that I actually enjoy murder in real life? No, hell no. Okay, I would not want to see somebody get killed in front of me in real life, even if it was somebody I didn't like or whatever. You know, um, no, I'd be horrified and I'd probably burst into tears. I'd be probably scarred for life. And I've seen people who've been scarred for life by stuff like that. You know, I've talked to police officers that have seen dead bodies and seen horrible, tragic events. And years later, you know, they can't even talk about it without cracking up. And uh, it's horrible. It's sad. And, but, uh, you know, fantasy is fantasy. And adults... Uh, I have the capacity to know the difference, you know. Uh, I'm not saying that movies and stuff like that should be allowed for children. I and mean, Not everything, just because, you know, just because some things are okay for children to enjoy doesn't mean that adults can't enjoy it. And, you know, a lot of Christians might be like, well, if kids can't enjoy it or whatever, then adults shouldn't be doing it either or whatever. But that's not true. Um. Children are impressionable, and, you know, they're not fully developed with their thinking and everything. But the point is, again, him that loveth violence isn't people who watch movies or whatever. You know, and like I said, I'm a wrestling fan, which is violent, but it's, you know, like ballet. It's entertainment. It's like drama where people are trying to give the impression that they're trying to kill one another, but they're actually trying to protect one another, and they don't really want to severely hurt each other. But, uh, yeah, so there's the difference between reality and, and, and practicing these things and, and enjoying fantasy for whatever reasons. And, you know, people don't usually watch horror movies just because they love to see people die or whatever. You know, I like, I like to see people being killed. No. There's other reasons why, okay? Usually, the bad person in the movie gets his comeuppance or whatever, and, you know, there's different morals in these movies, and there's there's a lot that you can actually get from them, but, you know, sometimes the story's good, sometimes it's just because of the creativity that went into the movie, and lots of different things. I can see why people don't like them, but again, to use Bible verses to try to... Uh, say that it's a sin for anybody to enjoy any of these things is not it's not the context of the scripture Video games contain a lot of that junk for one reason Video games, people want to see it. I, I mean, mean if people, if people didn't want to see it Again, it's a personal conviction. Why would they put it in the video games? There are people out there who just love that stuff. They eat that up. <laughs> they, they delight in that you know, I, it, I mean, person, a normal person, if they saw something like that, should, something like that, should, should want to look away. Like, oh, man, <laughs> you know, they don't want to see that.
right? Say, ah, oh, you're, oh, you're just a baby. No, no, no. Actually, I'm just a human being who has empathy for other people and doesn't love violence. Because if you love violence... Well, people do look away in the horror movies, but also people go into it knowing that it's fiction. Okay? People aren't really being murdered on the screen. It's fantasy. And, uh, and it usually serves a purpose within a story. So... Bible says, the Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hated. The Bible says all that hate me love death. death. Okay. So if you're a lover of death, a lover of violence, then you don't love the Lord. This is legalism. And it's funny, too, that, you know, again, like I said, he's a easy believer. And he says, all you have to do is have, you know, simple faith in Jesus, and you don't have to repent, and we basically not, just a head knowledge. We not, we know. You have to compare scripture with scripture, but, uh, but if you can't give me... At the same time, he throws out all these things, well, if you don't do this, then you're not saved, or if you don't think this way, then you're not saved, and over and over and over again. <sighs> okay. This has went to 35 minutes. I'm going to try to do some other videos later, and finish up First John. We'll run through the last chapter. I'd like to do some prayer videos later tonight, or some audio recordings. Maybe go over these verses some more. I don't know. Uh, I might go over them after Halloween or something. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be now. But those are just some of my thoughts. And it's not just Stephen Anderson saying these things. It's all kinds of Christians and pastors and preachers. So it's definitely not the first time I've heard this. So I'd like to know your thoughts. And again, I'm not really celebrating Halloween, but, um, you know, I do play video games and watch movies, and it's all kind of being grouped into the same thing, so thanks, guys. God bless.